Hello again, everyone, and welcome to episode 8 of NPC Plays Dad Games. Uh, I'm NPC, your pilot, as you all probably well know by now, blah, blah, blah. Today we're going to continue with Robert Cross once again, as he's actually officially an ace. It's considered by the generator anyway, even though he's already been an ace and, you know, as far as actual World War One-ness is concerned. So, yeah, as you can see, nice little picture of our plane, which we don't even have a name for, which I suppose is fine. We'll call him Eduardo, because that's actually the name of the rooster. Eduardo. We'll switch over to the pan er, sorry, to Pat Wilson's campaign generator, and we will get this show started. Robert Cross, taking a look. Everything still seems to be in order. Things haven't blown up, including me, which is good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. We'll go intelligence, just to take a quick look-see to see. we got Fokker E3s all across the board. We have a few albatrossy type things, but those aren't albatrosses that can actually be... I don't think they're fighters, anyway. And, um... I don't see anything as far as, like, DFWs around here, so this information must, must not be, like, entirely accurate. Yeah, because these are all opposing squadrons. I don't really see much. I suppose maybe let's, let's try this. Let's go Intel map and see what the map offers. Oh, God. The zooming in never really works very well. I should really stop doing that. Uh, let's see. What's this here? No idea. So, clicking on these. Scrutal 31. That's us. These are all our peoples on our side here, but if we jump over the line... Uh, these guys are flying Rollins. The Yasta 7 here is, of course, on the east. Something or others. Or whatever the heck is. Uh, Shalsta? I don't know what a Shalsta is, but they don't seem to be, uh. Oh, well, whatever FA is. I don't know what they are. Uh. I guess if the intel didn't actually show what was up, then uh, these guys probably wouldn't fare much better. Um. Oh, well. I don't know where those DFWs came from. Magic. Finish. Yeah, okay, so, I think, how long has it been? We we got wounded last last time. I don't know what when, when there, I wasn't actually really paying attention to the dates. I wonder when we actually got wounded. So, pilot log, it would have been January, February, uh, March. So, it would have been March 8th is when we did our last flight. Finish, that would make it May. Whoa, like two months. We were out for two months. That, that must have been quite the bullet hole. Whatever, Robert Cross is back. Uh, one thing I want to check real quick too. Just click down here to see what available plans. Nope, still only working off of the Newport 17. Haven't upgraded yet, guys. One day. Hey, okay, so let's go mission and get us assigned the mission. Ooh, uh, is this another intercept? Man, they are being aggressive apparently. But I'm okay with this because intercepts are one of my favorites. Don't have to fly very far, get to start attacking jerks almost asap excellent okay so let's just go uh, assigned pilots mm, now let's get rid of lieutenant lc there let's bring in b and we'll bring in darabu as well and let's uh maxime uh concord Con concord Con concord i guess you don't pronounce the the u let's just check to make sure we don't have any other available planes nope and nope and nope okay finish. We'll set ourselves only to 60% fuel because we're going for an intercept, which means we're going to be putting around all around here, so accept the mission, and we'll go back to Rise of Flight, and we should go mission, intercept, doesn't look right. Okay, here we go, we're in game. Um, there was a brief kind of little hiccup there for a moment um i i was trying i tried to record this episode earlier and it didn't quite sync up properly so yeah some of you might have noticed that that file name was actually called balloon burst because that was the mission i got assigned earlier but ended up having to cancel the recording i was doing so i had to scrub the mission and blah 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 for some reason though it still loaded the proper mission which is fine by me so we'll check our hangar real quick we'll see that we got our plane, as per usual, fuel where we set it to 50%, or sorry, 50 meters, I think it's meters. Um, just says 50. <laughs> Whatever, we're going to assume meters. Possibly feet, I don't know. And we're just going to uh, get this started. A go. Press uh, P to... Let's back our view out, let's recenter our camera. Good old initial lag. 
Looks like we can just take off into the wind this time, though, which is kind of nice. Planes directly above us. I have no idea what those are. I can't tell from here. Uh, either way, though, I should be getting my plane ready for takeoff. Let's give a little bit of throttle and start the engine. Full mixture, as for usual. Usual engine start stuff. Let's check our ailerons. Engine started good. That's, that's good. Uh, rudder pedals. Good, good. Elevators. Never had an issue with any of that stuff before, but you never know. Waiting on you, guys. And that's a one. And a two. And a three. Now it is my go. A little bit of a turn there, but that's alright. We seem to be A-OK, -okay, so... Whatever, I'll take what I can get. Read off the bat at pairs, I didn't really apply enough rudder, but that's okay. We didn't die. We're in one piece. We're flying. These are important things. Now that we're in the air, let's, uh... Let's fiddle with our mixture a little bit. See if we can't increase the RPMs a little bit. There we go. That's a good spot. Every little bit we can get counts. Test guns real quick. Probably shouldn't do that, but... Whatever. No one's gonna stop me. Let's catch up to our friends here. So, if I check the, uh... What's it here? It appears that the intercept is, like, kind of all around us. It gets a little difficult to play here. Uh, it wants us to fly... North? No, we're flying south at the moment. Whatever, we're just all around this area. Let's just... So you take with that, put the menu away. Did I lose said my squadron? Oh, there they are. Up it is then. He's turning, so I'm gonna turn too because I seem to have fallen behind a little bit. I wanna kinda cut them off a little bit to catch up. Looks like I might not even have to cut this video, considering we're considering we're like seem to be almost right in the action here. I'm not quite sure where these supposed planes are. And I swear to god I didn't rig it to get all intercept missions. They just happen to be spawning that way, which is fine by me. I like intercept missions. They're quick. There's combat. I get to stay on my side of the lines, which also makes me happy, is if I get my ass shot down, I don't just, you know, die. I can actually come back and tell my tale, as it were. Okay, so... Hmm. I don't actually see any enemies. Uh, right now... What direction are we headed? East? I'm actually not sure what this flight pad is trying to, to make us do. It's kind of all over the place. I don't really know where start or stop is, so... Are those my friends? Uh, I don't think that's them. Jeez, maybe that is them. Okay, you guys turned real quick. Wait for me. I was not watching. Is that really them? Because... Because what the heck? Like, they were... There were first of all, there were three of them. Second of all... You guys changed direction very quickly. Oh well. Looks like I could possibly be lost. Not great. Where'd those other planes go? Oh, there they are. Just gonna go and catch up to them. times like this that I wish I actually pulled through with that uh, mentioning of making custom skins for all the other pilots too because you know then I would actually know if 
the pilots that I'm following now are actually in my squadron. Keep an eye on them as well as keep my eyes peeled for enemy enemy planes. It's last thing I want is to get bounced. Okay, uh I'm trying to get a closer look at these planes over here. I don't know what they are. I can't quite see the guns on top, but they do seem like they are new ports. At least from here. The gun on the top is of course a pretty good giveaway, but I can't really pick that out from here. Where'd they go? Oh, there they go. Down, down there. Uh... Hold on a second. Uh, you know what? I actually have a sneaking suspicion that those might be DFWs. Oh, uh, maybe not. No, I think I see the gun on top. Never mind. Never mind. I'm just crazy. Or, or... Yeah, okay. There's definitely a gun on top. Just making them new ports. I want to try and pull up beside one of them and get a look at the logo on the side, because if it's one of ours, then I can at least stick with these guys and be happy. But then also wonder where the third person went. Yep, this is my squadron. It's got our logo on the side. So, now I am confused. Where the hell is... Uh, Darabu, probably? Uh, no. These two are... This is... These are, neither of these guys are the leader, which means that... What happened to the leader? Are we just circling our airfield right now? Uh, no. No, we're not. I don't think, anyway. No. Doesn't feel like it. Oh, wait. Yes, we are. That's... That right there. That's our airfield. Ooh. Why are we just circling our airfield, guys? Did did we can't what? No way, the funny can't be over now. That would be immensely lame. And by fighting being over, I mean there was no fighting. Granted that stuff happens in this game often enough. You get sent on a mission and the mission just basically just has you put around for a little bit because someone else managed to take the action. A wee bit disappointing, but I think I think we'll have to let it slide. Disappointing and very quick episode by the looks of it. Uh, oh well. Stark contrast to what happened last time. Last time was a good episode. Today's eh, no, not so great. I'll stick with these guys for a smidgen longer. Oh boy, what's that? Okay, never mind. Hold on. There's something over there for sure. I'm sticking with these two for a little bit, but I don't know what those are over there. Uh, I think that might be our lead. Actually. Or a different squadron altogether. There's a couple of the new ports there. With my logo. Do all the planes have my logo? Or my squad's logo? That would be uh, really annoying, actually, because then I think that these guys might actually be my squadron because there's three of them. I swear, guys, they tricked me. Hoodwinked. It's not my fault. They told me they fixed it. Okay, well now we're in a circle around base. 
for some reason. I wonder if any of you actually got to shoot anybody. I suppose we'll find out during the briefing. I got to fire two whole bullets, though. When I tested my gun. Does that count? It doesn't count. I'm, I'm pretty sure it doesn't count. We seem to be... Flying straight back north, though, so... We're not sticking around base, which is at least... Good. Which means that I'll stick around for a little bit. See, see what ends up happening. I don't know why we're diving. I mean, we should be keeping our altitude. Doesn't that make the most sense? Guys. Also, where's our lead? I don't know where he went. Whatever, if we'll just follow these two. They seem to know what they're doing. But, we seem to be moving quite a ways away, so in the meantime, I will cut the video here, and I'll bring everybody back in when things start happening. See you all in a bit. Well, bringing everybody back in. So, yeah, we uh, flew in circles for like 40 minutes. It was, uh, it was very invigorating. My, that's Darabun B up there. Um, where did my leader go? Oh, there he is. He's, oh, that's two guys. That's weird. Why are there two there? My, uh, squad lead was way down low for some reason. I almost think he was going to land, but, uh, I was thinking here that I would just, uh, we're basically just in some kind of pattern doing nothing and hovering around our base, so I figured it'd be time to just go and land, but what are those two over there? I'm just gonna go check that out real quick, and if it turns out to be nothing, then I'm just gonna come back and land and call this mission a day because it's a waste. It's a waste of valuable pilot resources. I'm gonna lead pursuit these guys like no one's business, and hopefully I can head them off at the pass. Wherever the hell they went. Oh, they're there. They're probably just a couple of new ports. Probably the two that I was hanging out with before. Never hurts to check, though. They are, in fact, a couple of new ports. Mission accomplished. Good job, guys. We're going home. Proud of all of you. Okay, so that's home field down there. I'm just gonna go down and buzz it, and then I'm going to see what direction the wind is flying. Yeah, holding that blip switch. Don't want to rev too high. Can actually rich in the mixture a little bit because we're at lower altitude. We're gonna buzz it to make sure because the wind is blowing really strong today, so. To make my landing a little cleaner, I'm gonna just go by and uh, take a quick look see outside of my plane and see what direction the windsock is telling me to land. Okay, basically, I basically land in the direction I'm currently moving. Basically straight into those hangars. Fair enough. Makes it easy. Turn around here. Straighten out. Let's cut my engine a little bit. So I can start descending. Okay. Once we get a decent ways away, I'll uh, I'll turn, head back towards it. We'll put this puppy on the ground. 
Mm. I think now's probably good. Probably have my feet on the rudder pedals, ready to make any corrections I need to make. We're actually going to dive down a little bit more. It'll gain us some airspeed, but I'll even this out a little more. Try and aim our nose for the end of the uh, field there. All right, let's do this, Shindig. Fly a little more throttle because I'm losing altitude. Too much, too much. On the ground. <laughs> well, thank God those boxes don't have collision. <laughs> That's a smooth landing, though. Smooth landing, smoother than my usual landings. Engine off. Get a quick, quick exterior view because why not? Looking pretty here on the field. Yeah. Didn't really want to mess around with all the planes just flying up in the air anymore because they weren't exactly doing anything. So, whatever. Good for us. I'll go finish flight. I won't even bother covering my eyes this time because I know for sure that I didn't shoot anything. Except for maybe some incredibly harmful wind when I took those test shots, but I'm pretty sure that they'll be fine. Zero planes. Oh man. Proceed. Go to this. We'll jump back to the campaign generator. Back to campaign. We'll go combat report. Claim zero victories of any kind for today. Submit that report. Start briefing. We took off. Oh, oh god. Took off. We flew around. Yeah, we basically just like flew around for like a thousand years and then just went home. It was not very eventful. Debriefing complete. You see all the people went on the missions. <laughs> missions flown from so oh. Okay. Yeah, nothing happened. Nothing like at all happened. Very exciting day. Well uh I guess there's not really much more to to say. Jump over to uh back to Rise of Light so you can take another nice look at Eduardo, as he's been officially named. That's how you have to say it, too. You can't just say normally. It's got to be, it's, it's always Eduardo. No matter what. Don't ask where that name came from. It's uh, kind of a long story, actually. But anyway, I want to say thank you for everybody for coming by to watch this incredibly not so exciting episode of Rise of Flight. Um, I should probably have more time to record videos now, which makes me pretty happy. Um, I can't promise everything, but I'm hoping to get at least a video out per week, if not more. Um, that's the aim anyway, so um, hopefully you guys can start seeing more videos from me if, if you guys are into that. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming by. Um, I'm NPC, your pilot once again. Um, I hope to see all of you next time joining me for episode 9 of Robert Cross's Let's Play of Rise of Flight. See everybody next time.